You know your hood's so backwards? Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> It's probably super confusing for you guys because you don't know why I'm wearing my hoodie backwards But we actually just filmed the TikTok, so I'm not weird. I don't do this on a daily. Yeah So what is good Marvel squad and welcome back to our channel I hate making videos like this or starting off videos like this because I feel like it's so depressing We have stuff to talk about mm -hmm. I just want to be like real and open and I feel like you guys enjoy that and you guys like to feel like you're not alone And the title and thumbnail is not a lie we're gonna talk about that. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna explain right what led to that and how I'm feeling. Let me just start off by saying it's not actually called off. We are it's not nothing's called healthy, off. Healthy. We are healthy and love each other. All that stuff. Th it was just, you know, we're just going into a pretty much a story time on what happened and how I'm feeling today. Because I'm feeling effects from it the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna talk about what happened last night first. I'm gonna talk about what happened last oh night first, and then I'm gonna talk about what I'm feeling today. But you're gonna make chicken. Yeah, I'm making. I'm, I'm making. Food. Is, it, is the chicken good in there still? I don't, I don't know. We haven't eaten all day today. It's because we've been. Yeah, on top of feeling down, having eaten all day, so it makes it even worse. Okay, so I want to sum up this story for you guys in a short and sweet way, but I also want to be real on what freaking happened nah, last night. I feel like you needed to start and tell them why. The video is titled the way the video is titled. Okay, so. Why? Like, because we are not lying. No, we weren't, but yeah. Tell them what happened. So, last night we went for Ooh. a really fun. Dude, this smells nasty. Yeah, it said packed on the first, and it's the 10th. Ew. It's like almost two weeks. Yeah, we're not gonna eat that. So, we're gonna eat now. We're not even. we That does not help the situation. The light. <laughs> Let's order food. That sounds like fun. We love ordering yeah, food. Yeah, but we're gonna have to order food for dinner too. <laughs> so what are we gonna do? I don't know. One second guys, just a quick pause for in this delay, sorry. So we figured it out. We're not eating the healthiest, but we're getting Buffalo Wild Wings. Beat up! Also ignore this pimple right here. You I'm know, working on getting my acne away. If you're in a bad mood, or if you're feeling down, this is legit. Turn on the lights in your house, open up the windows, and just right? just look outside. Play music, and do things that you like to do when you're happy. Yes, I agree with that. That's why I went outside earlier just to lay out in the sun because the sun's like my therapy. Diets don't matter when you're unhappy. Yeah, <laughs> so they don't. So I just wanna be real with you guys. So just so you guys know, like real couples and like people who are in relationships, they fight, they get into arguments, they get into bickerments, they go through stuff. We fight, it's part of life. I feel like me and Bill don't fight in the extent that we did last night. I feel like that was like the worst it's ever been in our relationship but you know sometimes you get to a breaking point and it happens like it's part of life and I don't love him any less and you don't love me any less like we get over it like that's the one thing we do is we don't go to bed sad obviously last night we kind of did because <laughs> there's reasons well you actually kicked me out of the room I, I did so and I ended up falling asleep in the guest room passed out and, and then I wake up hold on let me to let me, this no, girl no, 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 let me get to the story so over pretty much here, did you hit we, me when I was on the bed were you like Bill yeah, I did. You're I smacked your butt. Kidding. I smacked your butt. I said, Bill, right, wake up. We're gonna get to Okay, that. so we had a really fun Easter Sunday. I hope everyone had a blessed day. And I hope that was an amazing day yeah, with your friends you and family. Easter, happy holidays. Um, I hope you had a great Easter. We had a great We had an day. amazing we went out, Easter. Um, to Sanibel Island on a boat with our friends, family, and it was yeah, just like a blast. It was the best time, and it was honestly a very good day up Flew until our drone around. We went up until about 8 p.m. So I leave the party, or I leave the house because I was like brutally exhausted. Like we went to the house at 10.30 and then we got back at like five. I didn't leave there till about 7.30ish. So I was like, I was in the sun all day. I was ready to go shower. I had salt water in my hair. I was ready to go home, shower, get into bed. And you know, I felt like at the time, Bill should have came home with me. I don't know, I just feel like out of respect for your partner, like I am so chill. Like I really don't care. Like I'm like, okay, go out and like go have fun. Like I be back whenever like I am not that type of person but since we were out all day it would have been nice to come back you know get the week scheduled up because if you guys don't know we are going to LA for like almost two weeks mm -hmm. but we're gonna be in LA we're gonna be going to Coachella and all that fun stuff so Monday and Tuesday when this comes up obviously it'll be Wednesday we'll be in LA but Monday and Tuesday today's Monday we were supposed to bust everything down get all of our videos done and get ready for tomorrow because Tuesday you know I have a bunch of stuff going on but then we have to go over to Ann and Anthony's because we're flying out of Tampa airport. So I just want to give a little summary of why I, <laughs> oh I wanted to give a little summary of 
why I was feeling mad. Yeah. I was mad you didn't come home with me. And so not only did I let him stay out, he proceeded to come home almost at 12 o'clock at night. And I was like, bro, like I wanted to go to the gym in the morning. Well, I wanted to do stuff. I understand too, because like, I didn't want to stay out that late because Monday mornings are like, you know, hectic. You yeah. know, Monday starting the week and everything. It's literally always hectic. So like coming home on Sunday at midnight, you know, I'm like, oh, now I'm home. I was drunk. And uh, so he, you know how drunk he was? Not no, I'm not slurring his words. I'm not a bad drunk though. Okay, I, I will I say I don't get aggressive. I don't fight. And we I don't drink. Don't, and we don't I, drink. I don't really drink at all. If but, we like, drink, if do, it's on occasion, like Easter. No, but if I do, the thing is, I didn't even like think I was going to all the way up till nighttime. But if I do, I'm like a really good drunk. I guess you could. You say. are. Like, He's not a mean like me. drunk. Some no. people get unloyal. Yeah, no. The, I'm just like Bill's a man. Bill's a good drunk, and honestly, he didn't live that life in high school so I like let him do it and like I said I don't drink but he will on occasion on like special occasions but anyways so I'm annoyed because I had to wait up for him because he didn't have a key to the house so it's 11 o'clock I'm like where are you bro like I'm tired as heck I could have went to bed at 9 I was getting irritated he finally comes home and as I was gonna have a talk with him like hey like things need to change like you can't be doing this like you know like just stuff like that you want to know what he does laughing because he's drunk and doesn't realize he's not taking me serious when he starts <laughs> laughing I, <laughs> I was already mad y'all like i think i was i was exhaust so exhausted no, that i was thing. going psycho you can do to someone when they're pissed at you is laugh at them because <laughs> it's oh funny. y'all like, we got you yell. no we got it was so bad guys it was like a scream match well i was the one screaming. well i wasn't screaming I was you happy. weren't screaming you were sitting there patient but I'm you like kept but the thing with bill is like <laughs> I, I was laughing the whole time. Yeah, this is not funny. And I'm just no, like, the thing with Bill is he likes to like coddle you or like come close to you when you're feeling sad. And for me, if I am that mad, bro, you better back up. You better back up because I... I'm mad, okay? Mm -hmm. So it made me more mad that he wouldn't like give me my space. I like to, to show emotions physically. So yeah. when she's mad, I like to, you know, like come up by her. Which I love that. I, I really do appreciate that you're not the type of guy But that I also know you're the type of person that- I just like my space for yeah. at least an hour. Yeah, yeah, no. That's, but that's just fine. with how before. mad I was last night that he came home drunk and I was trying to have a serious conversation and he was laughing, it really made me mad. So I was like, go sleep in the guest room. I kicked him out of the room. But the thing was, I usually go on the couch, right? Yeah. Cause I still want to be close to you. I just went to the guest room. Oh, I was so mad that there. he actually went in the guest I room. I laid down and I just passed remember, out. No, I remember laying down probably for like, what, a minute. Yeah. And 10 seconds into laying down, I'm like, I should get back up and just go right back in that room and lay next to her and say, shut up, I'm sleeping right here. But then all of a sudden, I get waking up. Like I ended up passing out. And this was like, what, <laughs> only a couple minutes. Yeah. I wake up to Mariah going, Slap his butt. So he's like, wake up. my butt. And you find what the, you're like, <laughs> like, yeah, you were so freaking confused. I was like, what is Gated going on? And in my head, I'm like, oh shit. Imagine a girl that's mad at me that tells yeah. you to go sleep yeah. somewhere, even though you didn't want me to go sleep somewhere. Yeah. And I actually uh -huh. do it. And then he comes back in the room and I'm trying to explain. He goes, you probably don't even remember this. I'm just confused why you're mad. I'm just confused <laughs> why you're mad. Why are you mad? I don't get it. Loki, why are you I mad? Was, why? I, I was confused. Cause like to me, like it was not that big of a deal. Oh, it was a big deal. And it, I, I understand to you it was, but to me, I'm like, dude, I'm like, it's, like I came home a little y'all. Right this was morning. like two hours of just repetitive repetitive. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to bed. I was so mad. And so you pass out, I pass, I wake up. In the, in the same room. Yeah. That, you ended like, up going to sleep. Yeah. Oh, but we missed a big part. I literally last night I was so mad. I said, I don't want to get married to you anymore. Like, that's you're not taking job. me serious. I'm done with you. Like you're that's not. You're, when, you're... That's when I was like, all right, this girl's literally like, I need to, I need to like not keep responding. PSA guys. <laughs> Wait, I... didn't I laugh when you said that though? I'm pretty sure I laughed when she said, I'm not married. PSA, I just want to say, I don't agree with like, you get in fights and be like, oh, I'm going to break up with you. Or, oh, I, I want a divorce. Or, oh, I'm like, I don't like to do that because I feel like that's like mentally like, I don't know, it makes you feel bad. And I don't like to make Bill feel like that. Well, I, was I didn't just feel like you were going to leave me. No, I, <laughs> oh, I know. What I said, said, you're stuck with me, Mariah. You're stuck with me. I said, Mariah, I'm sorry, but you're stuck. Yeah, you're going crazy No, right I'm not. I'm like, you're stuck. Yeah. You're not leaving. Which, I'm not guys, leaving. don't take that serious. He doesn't mean I'm actually stuck. Like, she's I am stuck. not drilled to his hip where I have to stay with him. It's not she like is. that. 
Stop, babe, they're gonna take it different. No, I'm not controlled, like, you know, we could split up at any given time, but we're not, I'm in love with him. He's I just know that we are gonna be together forever. And I know you know that. If that doesn't show how real of a couple we are, then I don't know what else will. Like, literally. Well, you were, you came and sat on me today and you're like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I did say I'm sorry. I was like, I shouldn't have said He's that. Like, you know, Mariah was like, you're stuck with me. She was saying yeah, that I did. to me now. She's like, you're stuck with me. I just kept reminding him and I'm like, I'm so sorry that I like went crazy on you last night. It was literally a mixture being tired, exhausted, and you just not listening to me. Yeah, so she literally, I don't know if you're being serious or you're just trying to get a rise out of me or make me like feel that you are not just like joking when you said that you want to call off the engagement. Oh yeah. Were yeah. you joking or like? Oh, I was so mad the moment. I just wanted to hurt you. That sounds so bad. That like not hurt physically. I'm I, meaning like with my words. I know that. I know I'm that, meaning yeah. with my words. Clear it up. Yeah. I'm being raw with you guys. Right. Like, never I, hurt me. I've never hurt her. No, I've. I would never. Physically. I've been, we've both been taught and raised not to put our hands on each other. But I literally was so mad that I wanted to like. Since he wasn't listening to me, I just wanted to hurt him with my words. Obviously, that didn't happen. He was just still laughing. She at does me. this sometimes. She tries to like say mean things when she's like super, super mad. That sounds so bad, guys. Nope. I don't want you guys to think I'm mean. No, the few times that's happened in the six years that we've been dating. Yeah, it barely happens. Like I but don't like to act like that. That, that I means never I'm mad. Take you serious. I literally just kind of sit there and like. Okay. So anyways, so sum up the story. I just want to say PSA 8, we don't physically hurt each other. Like we're not verbally abusive. Like we're very good with our words. It just comes time to get to a point where like, you're so mad. It's like, you don't realize what's coming out of your mouth. And I acknowledged that. I apologize. I gave him a hug and I said, I'm sorry. Like that wasn't right for me to say the things yeah. that I said. I acknowledged it. But basically to sum up the story, I got mad and I said I was gonna call off the engagement and blah, blah, blah. And no, I, you were like trying to get a rise out of me. You were like, all right, what else can I say to make this guy not laugh and realize I'm being legit. So, anyways, so that's actually what I make a pact right now to never use, like, if we get married, when we do. How pinky ball is that? When you're mad, from now on, never mention breaking up, never mention divorce, never mention calling anything off. I agree. Because, like, first of all, it gets you nowhere. Second of all, it makes you feel like crap. It does. And I'm talking for you now because I can see it makes you feel like crap in the morning or mm -hmm. whatever when you're like, oh, I, w I shouldn't have said that. Well, today. I feel like we should just get mad at each other and avoid the splitting part mm -hmm. of trying to get well, back. Well, I want to explain too. So that's what kind of leads in today's video. I wanted to do like a really fun uplifting video, but my headspace has been like not right. That fighting really took a toll on my like my headspace and like my what energy. What time do we go to bed? I don't even know. I don't, I don't even want to think about if it. I got, if, if I got home at 12, we must not went to bed till like 1.30. I don't even know. Anyways, it was just a really bad night that it just wiped me out today. And like I said, I really wanted to give them an uplifting video, but I also want to be real and raw. Like I don't want to just like fake a smile for you guys because like, you know, you guys are family and people go through bad days. Like, the, and I want to be real and document like a night that just happened and just show you guys like it's, it's normal. Like, yeah, sometimes we put a smile on the camera and it looks like we're having this great, perfect relationship, but it's not always perfect. Like we go through our struggles. We go yeah. through our stuff. And like, we're happy today. So oh, like yeah. we would be, you know, all smiling happy today if it wasn't like such a big thing that like it just affected you in that And way. my headspace is like my energy level is like I right now don't feel like doing anything but curling up on the couch like and me. just yeah and just like stuck, watching a TV show yeah and watching a TV show but and like we also we never like I feel like we've never faked our emotions on camera no if we are upset sometimes we like skip filming and I know there's some days that we actually miss uploads and that could be because maybe that day we just weren't fully like ourselves and we don't and like to miss uploads like that's the last thing we want to yeah. do but sometimes it, we're just physically and mentally like this year has been so chaotic like there yeah. I don't I think, think that's why uh, yeah I think there's been so much going on that sometimes it balls up and then in the days of mm -hmm. you had so much to do and you're like maybe we should as much as we want to maybe we should yeah and we'll just post you know next posting day it's been it's as been much rough. as we don't want to miss it but I just want to make awareness of like mental health and just like know like it's okay to not have good days and you can feel sad and it's okay I'm going to say tomorrow's gonna be a better day I'm gonna make today a better day I'm gonna relax and appreciate my time because you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow and I just want to get out of this headspace and feel better and I don't know. You know, not feel like this. Cause I, oh, I literally had to go outside and like just sit out in the sun. Cause yeah. I, that's like my therapy. We were literally like in the middle of 
about to film this video and she's like, you know what, I can't. I need to go outside. I need I wanna tan because I wanna I wanna recoup and like just feel like happy and warm. Yeah. And it like, you know It helped. It's yeah, just, I I hope it did, yeah. It just obviously the sun ended up going behind the clouds. <laughs> and then she's like, <laughs> damn clouds. But yeah, today's just been a little bit of a rough day for me, but I love you guys. I love you so much. And we're very happy and I'm just so thankful that I have you and that you handle situations in the way that you do. You complete me and I'm just really thankful for you. I want to be that rock. And you know, I want to be that rock. We're gonna walk down the aisle that. in less than a year and I get to see your cute face crying. Every down has an up. Yep. So. And just wanted to show you guys the real side of life and our relationship. So I feel like we don't talk about it much, but mm -hmm. I want to be able to express things and show you guys that it is normal and you know, it's not always picture perfect and. A yeah, good thing we didn't have a ring camera set up in here last night. Honestly, I would probably want to watch that back. Dude, I imagine, wait, no, imagine so you said, bro. I'm calling off the engagement and I'm over here like, <laughs> no, you're not, you're stuck. It made me so bad because oh he wasn't God. taking me serious. I wish I had a camera set up in the house me recording too. so we get those moments because I just feel like you can't, like, I don't want to relive them, but I feel like it's just I don't want to so relive it. I'm trying to get past that. That was the worst night of my life. to look back at. Yeah. But I do take you serious, okay? I don't oh, want you to think I, it's all a joke. Baby, your I feelings... know you were drunk. You weren't even, in, you were incoherent. It's okay. Mm. Life happens. I, I'm not going to hold that against you. It's fine. I would have laughed at myself <laughs> too if I was drunk. But all right, you guys, we're going to go finish our day. We I got to get packing. Oh, I got so much packing oh. to do. Oh. oh, I haven't even started packing. I got to start. And we're going to be gone for like a week and a half. We better hurry up. Yeah, we Because we literally leave when tomorrow at like five i want to to go to anna and anthony's oh my god mm -hmm. yeah so stay tuned for our la content we'll also be with jules and saw yeah so get ready for our for future uploads it's only up from here okay yeah so Today, you know, was a little bit of a down day in the beginning. It was. But I feel like, I don't know, you're already looking like you're starting to feel better. I am. Like, I feel like now that I kind of talk to you guys, I kind of feel like that was therapy. And I kind of let it out and let you guys know. Thank like, you, Marble Squad, for the therapy. Yeah, like now I know, like, all I have to do now is pack and relax and get ready for the fun week that we're about to endure. Tonight. That sounds like a fun time. That does sound like a fun time. <laughs> Before we end this video, I want to shout out Truly Gerald. Yes. For being a post on vacation shout out. Thank you so much for commenting down below on our recent video. He said, I love you guys so much and we love you so much. If you want to be in the next notification shout out, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're following all of our socials. And most of all, turn on them post notifications so yes. you get notified every single time we post and you literally could be in our next video. We love you guys and we will see you in the next video. Video, but until, until then, then, peace. Love you guys. Love you guys.